I spent most of the summer at the beach. What for? We got a brand new pool right here in the neighborhood. It's real nice. This yeah, is our 50th like anniversary Quora. here at Cora, so it's going to be an amazing show. This year we're putting on Greece. It's uh, for the 50th for Cora, and it's a great show to bring in new students as well as some senior kids that decided this year would be a great year to join theater. And uh, it's just a really fun show. I am the lead choreographer of the Grease production here at Cora, and I'm really excited. So I've been working with the cast for the past three to um, three to four months now, and we've been doing lots of choreography and learning new steps for dances such as Born to Hand Jive, We Go Together, and Grease Lightning, and much, much more. So it's going to be an amazing show, full of fun, and it just brings you right back into the 50s. The choreography is definitely a workout and it's a little bit hard to get used to at first but Olivia and Mia have been doing an amazing job at teaching us and going through making sure it's refined and it looks good for our audience. Tanner Boyle is uh, Danny and we have Emily Etche and Abby Hyman and uh, Maddie Schmogi in the leads of uh, Sandy and so that part is triple cast but uh, Tanner's his first year on stage at Cora, Emily's first year on stage at Cora, Maddie's first year, oh, they all are, and Abby, all first time. So we have grade nine, grade 10, and two grade 12s. I was pulled into Greece with a couple of friends and I tried out and I found out that I was doing Danny Zuko. I've never really done any singing, acting, or musical theater before and I ended up loving it. Um, when we were trying out learning all the songs, it just ended up being something that I gained a passion for. It's great because you see uh, new kids come out, new kids um, that haven't been on stage, they, the self-confidence, the self-motivation, um, they um, really learn a lot and they might not necessarily be going into theater. Some might actually decide, oh, I might do this on the side while I'm in university because there are those opportunities at colleges and universities. Um, but it, it just, for, for kids to gain a lot of um, self-confidence and be able to speak in front of people with uh, no problem, to learn how to sing, to learn how to get along, cooperate, because every job I know now, you have to be able to get along with everyone. You might not agree with them, but you learn to get along and we have double and triple casts for this show so there's a lot of mentoring. I've been dancing since the age of three and I really thought that I wanted to give kind of my talent to my school and choreograph the dances for the Grease production. I love dancing and I love creating so I thought that it'd be a great opportunity for me to kind of display my skills. So. Um, I just thought that for my last year of high school that it'd be really nice to um, come together and work with my classmates and perform and see how great we can do as a team. Friday night is our dinner and show and this year it's a sock hop and dinner. We have a sock hop band playing at the dinner which is former grads as well and some singers. And then we uh, have our, instead of our pasta dinner, we're having hamburgers and fries and Coca-Cola and keepsake. Uh, cups to bring uh, with you and uh, as I said the Friday afternoon Friday night will be the grads and a lot of kids will be su surprised in the school when they see it to see their math teacher on stage singing the teen angel part and we have other grads in that were here recently like my son Evan's gonna be the other teen angel um, Adrian Sullivan is Johnny Vinson Mr. Rickman is uh, Johnny Casino and uh, and Mr. Elliot, our math teacher, as the other teen angel. So it's it's going to be fun. And Miss Miss Gasparelli, the other music teacher here, she was here when I started. She is Miss Lynch, along with another student, Liz Morin, who's our stage manager. She is playing Miss Lynch as well when the when they're older at the beginning of the show. Sault Ste. Marie is a great crowd and they are always into the into the music, into the songs and I just love performing for them so this is going to be a really fun show this year because of our great community and we do such a good job um, supporting our, um, our fellow cast members throughout the play. The show opens on February 21st, Wednesday night at 7.30, doors open at 6.30, it runs from the 21st to the 24th. Um, ticks are available at the box office, Station Mall box office, and at uh, Cora. If you've seen any of Cora's plays before, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, we always throw on an amazing show and we just get better every year. Um, if you've seen any Miss Williams work, um, she works with the students. We start right in October. We've been working really hard and um, from what I've seen this year so far, the rest of the cast looks amazing and there's definitely no reason you shouldn't hesitate. If you can find the time to come see the show, it's going to be amazing.